In the gospel reading today, our Lord says to the people that you both know me and you know where I'm from. But did they? They knew who he was. They knew the town that he came from. But they had no idea who he really was. Nor did they have any clue where he came from. Which is why even at the beginning of the gospel he could say, my teaching is not my own. But it's the one who sent me. And so the question then that each one of us has to ask is, do I know Jesus? We know about Jesus. There's no problem with that. Do we know the Lord? We can even say we know where he comes from. We can even say we know where he is. So what? Do you know him? He said, where I am, there will, my, there will my disciples be. Are we? Are we with him? Those are the questions we have to really look at. When we listen to his teaching, and he tells us that his teaching isn't his own, the people wondered, where did this man get all this? Look at somebody like Bernadette. St. Bernadette, so uneducated, so poor in her intellectual ability that the nuns in the mountain, the monastery, thought she was utterly worthless. And yet at the same time, when the theologians came to question her about the apparitions at Lourdes, she baffled them with her answers. She knew the theology better than they did. She had insight into the truths of who our Lord is that they didn't have a clue about because she knew the Lord. They knew all about her, about him. They, oh boy, they had studied. They knew the books. They knew the theology upside down and inside out but they did not know Jesus. It's a huge problem among theologians. St. Gregory Nazianz, in whom the church calls the theologian, said a theologian's ability is equal to the depth of his prayer. What's the depth of our prayer? because the depth of your prayer is going to tell you how much you know Jesus. The deeper you go, the more you know him. And it's that same way in any human relationship. Maybe you've met a number of people who are here today. You can look around and you can say, oh yeah, I know that person, I know where that person's from. Oh yeah, that person lives in this town or over there or whatever. Yeah, that's nice. But the more that you speak with the person and the more you get to know them, the deeper you go in that relationship. Well, the deeper you go in your relationship with Jesus, the more you know him, the more insight you're going to have. And then when you read some of these things, it's going to be obvious to you whether it's true or false because you are so united with him who is truth that anything that is not true, you're going to reject and you're going to rec recognize it immediately because your soul is going to groan when there's something that's not true. So our task is to be conformed to Christ. The only way to be conformed to Christ is prayer to know him, to go deeper with him. Because we don't just want to know about Jesus. If we do, we can be like an awful lot of priests and theologians these days. They know a lot about him because they've had lots of education. But they do not know him because they do not pray. Why would you even want to be a priest or a theologian if you don't pray? How bizarre is that? Makes no sense, but there are lots of them. But why would you want to be a Christian 
if you don't want to pray. Isn't this what it's all about? The Christian life is about knowing and loving the Lord more. So we have all the means available to us. He's right there in front of us. He's there in the Adoration Chapel for us 24 hours a day. He lives within you if you're in the state of grace 24 hours a day, so you don't even have to go to the Adoration Chapel. You just have to go inside, and you'll find him there in the very deepest part of your soul. But many of us aren't very deep into our souls. That's where he's inviting us. That's where he's calling us. Because then, just like him, we can say, my teaching isn't my own. It's his. He's the truth. That's what we want. We want to know him. Because we cannot love what we do not know. The more that you love him, and the more that you know him, the more you will be able to love him. And isn't that exactly what our lives are supposed to be about? That's what our eternity is going to be. And this is the time to start, to prepare for that. So we want to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the life of prayer. And going deeper into the life of prayer is going deeper into the mystery of the person of Jesus Christ. And the deeper we go, the more we know him. The more we know him, the more we love him. Then we won't just say we know who he is and we know where he's from. Oh no, we know him and we know where he is.